Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we are going to have Jay. Jay is from Los Angeles in America. Let's see what Jay has to say. Enjoy the interview. Hello. Hello. Hi, Jay. How are you? How are you Good. today? Good. Got my coffee. Ready to go. <laughs> Which coffee are you drinking? Uh, well, this one's a cheap one from uh, Burger King. But it's just like a latte, cappuccino? Uh, oh, yeah, just a uh, black coffee. Black coffee. Okay, Jay, um, just before we start the game, just tell me where are you from? Uh, originally, I am from Missouri. I moved out to California about uh, eight years ago, though, from New York. All right. Um, and what do you do for a living? Uh, actor. Talent. I wow. And um, what do you like the most about being an actor? Uh, being able to elicit emotions from uh, people just by by doing what you love. That's what I like. Great, great. Okay, Jay, so welcome to William and the Magic Box. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Okay, Jay, ready for the first question? Ready. Let's do it. Um, what would be the theme song if you had your own show? <laughs> oh, man. Um, probably something ACDC. Uh, Shoot the Thrill, uh, Thunderstruck, Who Made Who, something to that degree. Cool, cool. Let's go for another one. Okay, Jay, before the, uh, the next question, um, what do you miss the most about New York? Uh, the food. Oh, <laughs> uh, the street vendors, falafels, uh, the energy. Energy in New York is like none other. Um, LA has has its, its good and bad, but New York is, the energy is just amazing. I had a, I'd had a guest on the show a few days ago from New York as well, and he lives in, um, he's living now in Hawaii. And he, he told me that what he needs the most about New York is the pizza. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty good pizza. Uh, but I gotta say the falafels and uh, shawarmas are, are like no other. Right. Next question is, um, if someone offered you to tell your future, would you accept it and why? Uh, well, I'll listen to whatever anybody has to say. Uh, I give it some skepticism, though, because I'm not even sure if, if anybody other than, you know, got upstairs would know my future. But uh, yeah, I, I'd listen to it, uh, see where it goes. You're always interested in what's going to happen next. Have you ever been those, um, in those places where they can tell you future, they read your hands or they have the cards? kind of stuff I went in a couple times it's not something I normally do though but uh, yeah and it's okay Jay let's get another question okay for the next question and uh, what do you like the most about LA Ah, um, the weather, yeah, um, being out here, it's like, uh, you know, it's even when it's cold, it's not that cold, you know, I, I've lived in some super cold places, and uh, uh, so being out here, it's like, you know, I, it's always, uh, for me, I could always just wear shorts. <laughs> right, um, next question is, what's your all-time favorite band, and why? All-time favorite band? Uh, again, probably ACDC, but I'm, I'm partial to a lot of 80s uh, bands, especially rock. You know, I, I listen to everything across the board, uh -huh. but uh, I would say rock is what gets me going. Okay. And what's your favorite band at the time? The 80s? 
Yeah, 80s, 80s, ACDC, you know, Fleetwood Mac, things like that. Although I'm partial to rap as well. All right. Another question, Jay. Let's do it. What's the most challenged part of being an actor? Um, hmm. Probably the fact that you, you uh, rejection, of course, I'm sure, you know. <laughs> and just not knowing. I think it's the not knowing uh, it is uh, for the longest time would uh, bother me, but uh, now I just accept it. It's too many variables of why you might not have got picked for a part. Could be, you know, your look. Uh, it doesn't have to specifically go with acting. If it's my look, then, you know, whatever. Otherwise, you know, just keep working, keep training, uh, keep uh, exercising the mind, and uh, keep going. Next question is, um, what would be your ideal day? Uh, hmm. Well, I would say, uh, man, if a girl picked me up uh, and took <laughs> me out for coffee and food, that, that'd be pretty awesome. Beyond that, that's that's that would be enough. <laughs> right, Jay, let's get another question. question for Jay. Um, what bores you? What bores me? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, quarantine. <laughs> Everyone else in the world right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, gosh, this is the goods and bads of it. You know, it's, it's we've all changed because of it. You know, we've all had to sit down and think about, uh, you know, introspective and, and what we need to do with our lives and had the opportunity to have those thoughts. But at the same time, uh, just in those thoughts, it's like, okay, what what can I do? And, and at some point, you know, even the streaming services and creative part of you is gonna be like, okay, now I need something else to stimulate. So yeah, that can be boring sometimes. What's the uh, what's the, the theaters look like right now in LA? Uh, are they closed because of the quarantine? Or yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's close, although I, I have a friend that's, uh, that's uh, he does theater, he's a director, he directs theater uh, productions, and he just did one uh, that was shot for uh, television, or web streaming, so that's, that's exciting, you know, being able to put something that uh, everybody wants to go to the theater and see something, and he put it on, uh, to where everybody can see it. Right. Jay, I enjoyed the show so far. Yeah. Yeah? Good. Let's get Yeah, more. great. Let's do it. You always wanted to be an actor? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, I put it down for a long time in my life due to the fact that I was, you know, I, I didn't know how to achieve that in Missouri. Uh, and then for the longest time, I was either going to college or raising my daughter. So uh, yeah, that that kind of put it in a different direction for me, but uh, you know, uh, I found a way and I'm here, so. Very good. Okay, next question is, um, where the most exotic place have we ever been? Hmm. Exotic place. Well, oh, that's a, that's a good question. I've been to a lot of like uh, like beaches and thought and things of that nature where I thought you know this is great. Uh, just a little place. You know, honestly, I think more of a me driving out here uh, from New York. I drove from New York to California, and that took you know about. I drove straight through from New York uh, to Missouri, and that took about 24 hours, I think. And then I drove from uh, Missouri to California, and I took my time doing that, and it took me about three days. 
I would say the ride out here was the most spiritual um, part of my uh, life that I've ever had. Just uh, seeing the different sceneries and how they changed over um, from state to state. Uh, how in some places the clouds in the sky was up high, another one that looked like they touched the ground. And uh, that was the freedom that I had driving out here versus any other part of my life was just liberating and spiritual, like I said. Amazing, very interesting, <laughs> amazing. Right, Jay, let's get another question. Um, how long can you go without checking your phone? Oh God! Uh, you know that's that's something that I want to work on. There's been times where I've been like, uh, just like I can't do this, you know. And so I put it to the side. There was a time where I was actually forced to not have a phone for about two weeks, and and I honestly uh, uh, just. just how freeing that is to not have to look at your phone all this all the time and, and deal with that now being an actor you're always getting you know um, auditions sent to you that need to be sent out immediately or as soon as possible okay. so that's one of the things that I have to have my phone for but other than that if it weren't for that I'd be okay with putting it to the side in fact I like trying to put it to the side every once in a while to just be like okay I'm not married to this thing <laughs> I can do my own thing without it, you know, so, yeah. I, I think a phone now is like an extension of your hand, isn't it? You spend so much time on your phone, that's like an extension it became. Yeah, it makes you wonder what's going to happen in the next 10 years, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, another question, Jay. There are more possibility, more um, uh, possibilities for actors in LA than New York. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now a lot has changed in, in a lot of different ways in the last eight nine years that I've been out here from uh -huh. New York. But I can tell you when I was in New York uh, and I was uh, going out for auditions and things of that nature, the. The theater pool is a different thing, but the actors pool that I was in up there was was a lot smaller. You know, I, I didn't run into uh, the same people over and over and over at these uh, you know casting uh, castings and uh, at uh, shoots out here in California. <laughs> it's across the board. I mean, I, I've ran into everybody. You know, it's somebody is involved in acting one way or other. Either their mother did it, their brother did it, they they used to do it, uh, they did it, they do it with their kids, you know, um, they know what's going on and they know the terminology and it's a wide base. Uh, so, but even then, you know, you still run into a lot of people doing the same thing over and over again, you know, so that's cool to be able to go on the set and be like, hey, I, didn't I work with you on, on this project? And they're like, yeah, you know, and so it's cool. Cool. Right, next question is, um, who are you most great, thankful for, and why? Uh, say family. Uh, family supported me and, uh, uh, and just, you know, just a lot of great uh, backbone to to my personality and, and uh, well-being. And, Got me out of trouble a few times here and there, you know, as you, uh, that always helps. It's good to have family behind you. So Absolutely. other than that, uh, you know, friends that, uh, friends that I consider family, uh, I have a lot of that out here in mm -hmm. California and, and you need that, you know, because you never know, you know, you got your ups and downs out here. And so those downs, you know, you're, you're struggling. You're like, please somebody help me. And, <laughs> and not, I'm not talking financial, I'm just talking you know, uh, emotional or uh, with work. Mm -hmm. and yeah, you, you got to have it. You got to have that structure. Because uh, a lot of people come out of here not knowing anybody. And 
you know, I've seen a lot of people leave California because they have just, you know, it's, it's not just you come out here and you make it, although sometimes that happens. And in fact, when I, it seems like a lot of people when they first come out here, like I did, you get your book and rolls and then all of a sudden something happens where you just kind of, it falls off. And then that's when the real struggle begins. So like, how do I get back on? What happened, you know? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's good. Cool. Right, so another question, Jay. Let's do it. Next question is, um, what is something you always want to do, but who you are scared of? <sighs> um, hmm. Travel more. I always want to go see the Great Wall of China, uh, the pyramids and uh, uh, the Aztec, uh, the ruins and things like that. And I think just uh, <clears throat> uh, taking that leap it's been a little bit scary but I mean it was scary to move to New York and which was a big step of course going to California after going to New York was like a no-brainer like <laughs> no problem I got this I see okay okay Jay I've got three questions left for you okay great do it actor you need to to dance a lot as well <laughs> i am not a dancer although i i try to uh -huh. uh, i have done some things where i've tried to teach myself how to dance and and, and that's fun uh but uh yeah it, it's not my forte all right <laughs> next question is um what's the best and the worst of being yourself mm. The best I would say is that I am malleable. I, I can move and uh, uh, change to whatever it needs to be, uh, not only in acting, but in life. Uh, if something happens, I, I try to, to adjust to it and keep going. The worst, oh man, you know, uh, <laughs> I. <laughs> I, there's so many worsts, but uh, uh, hmm. I would say the frustration of myself to, to not uh, be doing more than what I am. I'm always like, okay, why are you not doing more? So I think uh, the being hard on myself would be where I'm, where I'm uh, lacking. You should be kind. You should be kind to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Right, two questions left, Jay. Yeah. Right, let's do another one. What's your spirit animal? Got a cat. Cat is by far my spirit animal. Uh, I have... <laughs> I have always had cats in my life for some reason or another. Uh, they just come in there. Uh, and then, you know, the, even the Egyptians had cats around for, uh, you know, having uh, taken away any evil spirits or anything like that. So I like cats. That? Yes, I heard that as well. I heard <laughs> that when a cat around your house is the best protection for your house. Yeah. Have a cat. Yes, I heard that as well. Absolutely. At least I believe it in my mind, so uh, you know it helps. Great. Ready for the last one? Yes. Let's do it. Okay. If I ask you, um, can you do uh, different accents around the world? Around the world, uh, I, I can do a little bit of a British accent. Okay, uh, let's see the I next like question. I like to do British. All right, I'm gonna let's Say again? The, I'm gonna get the last question, so and sure. you can answer in a British accent. Okay. Oh, okay. 
Right, who was your first crush and why? Oh, man. Uh, let's see. In a British accent. I gotta think of my first crush first. Uh, oh, my oh, okay. So, um, I think her name was Holly, and and it was in high school. Um, she had very curly hair and very beautiful. Um, beyond that, oh, she had great eyebrows. That's the thing I liked about her the most is her eyebrows were so just thick where a lot of people's eyebrows are thin. Uh, I think that's what really attracted me to her. Hey! <laughs> I love that. Good one. Very good one. <laughs> right, Jay. It's not the end yet, okay? So let's play now the quick thinking game. So I'm, go I'm going to give away some words and you just tell me one thing that comes to your mind, okay? Quick thinking. Great. Okay, let's start with family. Family. Uh daughter, brother, mother. Okay. Money? Uh, bills. All right. <laughs> Love? Family. Okay. Life? Fleeting. Okay. Sex? Non-existent. <laughs> <laughs> Politics? Abstain. Okay. Religion? Christian. Um, friendship? Friendship. Uh, perfect. Okay. Desire? More. Regrets? Mm, yeah. Uh, past. Okay. Wish? Wish. Uh, success. Okay, the two last ones now. Let's start with Los Angeles. One word. Uh, sunny. Okay, and acting? Passion. Amazing, amazing. Okay, let's pretend now I'm going to have a coffee with your best friends and I'm going to ask your best friends. Uh, yes, a black coffee. Um, okay. Define, um, define Jay in a positive word and a negative word. What your, your best friend will define you? Okay. Uh, hmm. I would say best friend would define me in positive words as um, hard worker. Okay. And negative words. Um, Maybe annoying. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, let's pretend now if I ask the same question to your daughter, what do you think she'll tell me? Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Uh, positive would be loving and negative would be uh, repetitive. <laughs> 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 right. Okay, Jay. Let's play now Jay and the magic box and you can ask me a question, okay? Okay, you can ask me a question now. Okay, my question for you is, you, is what's next? What's next? Very good question. Wow, you put me in the spot now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What's next? Um, oh, wow. Let me think now. Right. What's next now? It's... Um, my channel on in a bigger proportion with more um, for capacity in a, in a studio uh, with lights and everything like in a very more professional way let's say yeah that's what comes next that's your question yeah, yeah. Fingers, crossed. Good. fingers crossed great did you have a good time i did it's fun yeah yeah thanks so much Jay. thanks for being so kind and uh, accept my invitation thanks so much i really appreciate that i really liked it Keep up the work, man. Cool. Before you go, if you don't mind to share a positive quote, a positive message, something that inspires you in life. <clears throat> um, well, the one that comes right off the top of my head is work hard, play hard. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I would say just, you know, uh, don't stop. You know, you fall down, you get back up and you keep going. And uh, 
and that's that's what life is all about. So totally. Only yeah. live once, so keep going. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank, thank you so much. Oh, good. It was yeah, a pleasure. Thank you. Have a good one. All, all the best. All right, take Bye. care. So, did you like the show? Don't forget to give a like, to share it, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, first, subscribe to our channel, and after that, just go to our website, www.williamandthemagicbox.com, and send us a request saying why you'd like to be part of the show. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye, see you next time.